Hey guys, today we're going to be Greed from Full Metal Alchemist in Mid Transformation. I've already blocked out my brows, so on one side the brows completely blocked out, and on the other side it's just glued down so that we've got a nice flat surface to paint on. Then I'm marking out where everything's going to go on Greed, and I'm using an angled brush and some black eyeshadow. I prefer to use eyeshadow for this because it's much easier to blend out if you make a mistake or to just paint over it. With the teeth you want to try and hide your lips as much as possible. So I'm positioning the fangs so they're either side of my lips instead of being on them. And for the other teeth I'm using like the parting of my lips as the space where the teeth meet. I always try and do teeth like this because if you have the parting of your lip like mid tooth then it's going to really show up. Once the teeth are in, you can start mapping out where all of Greed's red line pattern is going to go. But you only want to do this on half of the face for now because he's mid-transformation, so on part of the face the red lines won't be there. Then draw out the eye. So I'm starting at the inner corner of my own eye and following the crease about a third of the way and then coming off the crease and extending it upwards towards my eyebrows. So it's like doing a huge wing. And then just connect that wing back to the outer corner of your eye. Lightly mark out roughly where you want the transformation part to be. And add in any of the red lines that are missing from that part of your face. Now that all the features are mapped out, we need to add those kind of block things where the transformation is happening along that line we've just mapped out. So I'm using Mayron Paradise paint in black and a detail brush, which is actually a paintbrush, and just adding in all of those blocks. These blocks are all random heights, but you want them to be the same kind of width, roughly. And you want to kind of angle them upwards towards the corner of your head, if your transformation line's where mine is, so that it looks more like it's taking over your face and like traveling up it. Then go ahead and outline everything that you outlined in the black eyeshadow in black face paint. We're going to use a big foundation brush to fill in all of the blank spaces between this, so outlining it in black face paint is just going to give us much nicer crisp lines around everything. If you're doing a full body paint then you probably want to take your shirt off about now. And it's the same process, so mark everything out with the black eyeshadow and when you're happy with the placement of everything, go over those lines with black face paint. Then start filling in all those spaces with a really dark grey face paint. I'm using Mayron Paradise paint in black and Mayron Paradise paint in Storm Grey mixed together. Because Greed isn't actually black, he's a very very dark grey. And he has lots of kind of contours and shadowing and stuff going on on the face. And if we paint him black, then you won't be able to see all of the shadows and contours because those would be black as well. To get into kind of all of those blocks from the transformation and to get into all the corners and around everything like the teeth, I'm switching over to a detail brush. Then using a clean detail brush and some Mayron Paradise in white, colour in the teeth and the fangs. Then fill in all of the rest of the lines with red and I'm using Mayron Paradise paint in red berry. You want to be really careful to stay in the lines and not drag any of that black into the red. Paint your eyeball white and wait for it to dry. Keep your eye closed while you wait and then cover it with white eyeshadow and that's just going to set the face paint and stop it from kind of creasing and smudging and rubbing off. Using a detail brush and some Mayron Paradise in black, just create the lines between all the teeth. Then to make the teeth look more three-dimensional, take some grey eyeshadow and a small brush and start adding shading to the teeth. So the shading I'm doing, I'm going on the insides of the teeth, so on the left side I'm putting the shadows on the right and following the shape of the teeth, and on the left side I'm putting the shadows on the right side. 
We want the highlights on the teeth to be really bright, so I'm going back in with some white face paint and just going over those highlights. Add in the details on the round things on his chest with some black face paint and a detail brush. Then for the non-transformed side, we need to add in the eye shape and the eyebrow. So the eyebrow is basically just a straight angled line that's thicker on the inner corner. These kind of brows will probably never be in fashion. And I'm just using a detail brush and some black face paint. For the eye, we just want to match Greed's eye shape. And he's got kind of a square outer corner. So on the lower lash line, extend it down and out slightly. On the upper lash line, you want to extend that out slightly and then just join the two together with a downward, slightly angled line. And you're making it a little rounded at the bottom just so it looks a bit more natural. For the inner corner, just draw a really small wing that's angled downwards and then just join all of those lines up. You should end up with a little space between your eye and the lines on the outer corner. So fill that in with some white face paint and a white eyeliner on the waterline to make it look more like an extension of your eyeball. Then with some black face paint, go back and add some shading, some contours, some shadows into the transformed part. So Greed has kind of a dark smile coming off of his fangs, so it's like a triangle, fill that in with black, and you want to go either side of the red line, you don't want it to come across the red line. And behind the fangs you want to add some shadows so that they look more three-dimensional, like they're actually coming off of the face. The shadows aren't showing up so well on camera, but they are there. And that's it guys, you are now greed. Go out there and be greedy. Make Greedling proud.